Star Wars Republic Commando is a first-person shooter, and it honestly handles quite well for being an older first-person shooter. Its age is more noticeable in multiplayer than single player. The game came out in 2005, and I never picked it up till about 2011. It wasn't that I didn't want the game, it's that I didn't own an Xbox or a PC that could run it. But I remember looking at the case longingly, in this weird time where the grocery store known as hy V had this entire video game and movie rental section. But yeah, I've owned the game for like 10 years now and I've beat it numerous times. In Republic Commando, you have a health bar and a shield bar, kind of like in Halo, so you need to hide after taking damage and let your shield recharge. Honestly, in a lot of ways, the game reminds me of Halo. Is it as good as Halo? Well, it came out in 2005, so Halo 2 was already out, so... Honestly, no. It's no Halo. But it's good in its own right. You play as a clone commando. The special forces of the clone army. It's kind of like Rainbow Six, but for Star Wars. Anyway, so there's you, the boss, aka Delta 38. There's Fixer, aka Delta 40, he's like the hacker. There's Scorch, aka Delta 62, he's the demolitions expert and the funny one of the group. There's Sev, aka Delta 07, the weapons and combat expert. He's our grumpy guy who can fight well. So another way to say it is, boss leads, Fixer does machines. Sev is cool but rude, Scorch is a party dude. <laughs> Your squad will fight with you, and through the game your HUD will show their status too. Throughout the game you can give squad mates commands on what to do, there are tons of things you can have your squad do, and honestly it's important to utilize commands as it helps you continue through the levels better. The amount of detail in squad commands is awesome. I haven't played a game since that has let me have so many different commands. When you are down or they are down, you can revive or command them to revive. You also have many back to stations along the way that are well placed. The game never feels unfair in giving you more than can be handled. There are even formation commands you can also use. The weapons are also great, usually in first person shooters. There's a ton of crap guns, but in this game I valued every single gun for different things. They all had different uses and strengths and weaknesses depending on the enemy. You hold a gun that has three different attachments to transform its function. It can go from blaster rifle to sniper to anti-armor. Then you get one gun you can pick up out in the wild and keep switching. And then you also have your pistol. The same went for grenades. All of them were good except for the flash grenade which I never really touched. There's also a melee in which this cool blade comes out of your arm. The game starts off with you being born on Kamino and it quickly shoots through your life growing up, which is one of the coolest opening sequences to a game. From that point, you spend a good amount of time on Geonosis, fighting off all sorts of enemies. The coloring is different here too, with battle droids looking gray. But frankly, it's fucking cool, and I love the look of it. You battle all sorts of enemies, and they do a good job mixing it up, as it's not repetitive. The droid, I feel, that got the biggest overhaul, is the super battle droid. They can take quite a pounding and damage you quite a bit. They honestly remind me a little bit of Terminators in this game. They also make the weirdest sounds. Although the closest to Terminators, I suppose, would be these Trandoshans with a uh, big minigun type thing. Geonosis has you fighting Geonosins, but the part that was the most intimidating was when you have to leave your team and you have to do stuff by yourself for a little bit. And there are sleeping battle droids that can easily wake up and some will automatically wake up and these are hard sons of bitches to kill. I recommend using snipers against them rather than your regular blaster. Not to mention if a stray bullet or grenade blast misses, you can wake up more. And honestly, that level not only showed how much I rely on my team, but also was the one that had me on the edge of my seat most. Also, also, you can get blood or fluids on your visor, and it has a little wiper to remove it, so that's kind of cool. Which also reminds me, you can change your visor based on the lighting, sort of like night vision. 
From that point, you go on a ship, and the enemies are far harder here, but still beatable. You fight Trandoshans, and they use projectile weapons instead of energy weapons. They also have these Star Wars letters around the ship, I guess. It's gotta mean something more than just letters, because this is showing up everywhere. <laughs> from that point, you go to Kashyyyk and save Wookiees from slavery, which seems like the reason you go to Kashyyyk in every Star Wars video game. Which reminds me, Jedi Fallen Order. You have almost 15 years on this game, why do your Wookiees look so bad? Wookiees in this game are massive. They're fucking big, and I honestly like their new body size here. Uh, better than their usual one. It's just slightly different tweaks like this that are kind of cool. Also, General Grievous is on Kashyyyk, and though you don't fight him, you do fight his bodyguards, and those things fucking suck. This game also uses Star Wars music, but it has a couple tracks that are totally unique to it. I for sure recommend you pick this one up, as it's a really fun game, which reminds me, I played it multiplayer with some friends years ago, so here are some highlights of that. Be sure to like and subscribe. I have plenty more Star Wars content on this channel, and plenty more to come. You know what would really help this game? Any music? <laughs> 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 well, a minute ago we had Robo, Robo, Fredo, Pago, Rebo, Jibo. That's exactly how it went, too. Dang. Ha <laughs> The voice out of nowhere, there's just the one announcer up top. Headshot! <laughs> Look at my guy! It's like me, you crucified me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, where is this at? I need another grenade oh, no. throw. It's a fuck you battle. Oh, fuck you's all night. Da 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 What? Aaron oh, showed up. Oh, Aaron showed up. <laughs> and I don't know that he was as interested in the fuck you battle. <laughs> it looks like you both got fucked. <laughs>